Hello mother funsters and welcome to part 12 of Zelda Wind Waker casual let's play. My name is Mela. Uh, last time we uh, did some side quests and went to Great Fish Isle uh, and uh, now we're going to look around to see if we can't find the third of the pearls. Oh, there's a beetle. Oh no, that's the special beetle ship. I don't think we've got enough gold to buy anything from him because he's like the super expensive dude. Um, we'll go. We'll we'll go north one more. We'll go one, one north one more square, and then we'll start heading east. We are actually just going to stop on this. I want to see how much um, the things are. I remember they're expensive. Ah! Oh! Kill him and take it. Uh, I can't use my sword in here. <laughs> Besides, Beatles is a G in this game. He's a G. Ah, oh, fine, welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. <laughs> right. You are so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days, and I'm having a clearance sale. Where does it say how much they are? Alright, 500 rupees. Which obviously I can't because my maximum wallet size is 200. Oh, 950. Damn, this guy's expensive. And 900. Okay, well. I know which order I want to buy them in. It's definitely the bottle, then the heart piece, and I'll probably not bother with the treasure chart. Unless I've like I've got a surplus of rupees, which let's face it, in this game is unlikely. With Tingle stealing all my money. Um but no, that's fine. Uh, at least we know that there's nothing we can do with him now. Let's go north again. We'll see. Um are we we're going the wrong way. We uh, I think. Uh, which, wait, what, 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 let's, let's just stop for a second. That's where we want to go, isn't it? Isn't it? Right, yeah, sorry. Let's go this way. I, um, I was going slightly towards the west, and I don't want to go west, I want to go east. But really what I want to do at this moment in time is go north, and this is the, um, Oh no, 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 no. I'll tell you what I definitely don't want to do. I don't want to get caught by that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. Um, I'm going to change the wind direction just to try and make it so that I don't get caught by that tornado. If I get too caught by that tornado, it will pick me up and it will plop me at a random point on the entire map. Which is not ideal. It could plop me literally the furthest away that you can possibly be and then we'll end up having to... Uh oh. We'll end up having to sail for a million more, more years. So uh, I really hope we don't get caught by, <laughs> by that. Um, it becomes really, really useful once you have the bow and arrow because uh, you shoot the um, the dude that's inside it and then you can use it to like fast travel. Really good. Right, where's that? There he is. Hello, mate. Right, you may have some bait. Nom 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 nom. Is this Mother Child Island, I think? Yeah, this is one of the more important uh, story islands. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Well, how can they know if she's beautiful then? <laughs> Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the information I have to offer. Cheers, dude. Right, we can now head east towards Windfall. Happy days. I love that um, orc emote as well. Uh, Admiral Murky. <laughs> it's cool. He's very toothy. Got his teeth out. <laughs> I think we're just going to stop off at this island here. Um, I can't. I vaguely remember there's something good on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's just get some more bio. It. That's not an orc from World of Warcraft, is it? That's got to be an orc from a different game. It's like a different art style than World of Warcraft. By the, by the looks of it, or or am I wrong? Let me know. Right, 
Um, we're going to get the fishy first. And then we'll stop off at the island just to see if there's anything good there. Ogre maybe? Mm, not from WoW I don't think. Not unless it's like fan, a fan, uh, fan art. Right. Nom 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 nom. Okay. I love these dudes. Okay. Spectacle Island. Oh, apt. <laughs> right. Beware the knights when the crescent moon. Ah, oh, it's just another one where he's talking about the stupid ghost ship. We don't care for your ghost ship, dude. Let's do a little bit of tacking just to get uh, back to the island. Looks like something from Orcs Must Die 2, which I've been playing, <laughs> which I've been streaming recently. Nice little segue for you. <laughs> um, I've been streaming it with my friend Green Tech. Um, I hope we're going to stream it again next week, although um, whether or not, it depends whether he's free, because I'll, I'll only stream it with him, because we're playing two player. Um, I just want to see what's on this island, see if there's any loot that we can have. What's this say? Head west for Marble Chart Islands. Alright, okay, no worries. Oh, Mr. Postman. Good evening! Letters for Mela. Here is your letter. Well, good evening to you. If you wish to be a true swordsman, come find some knight's crests and return to me. Orca! Don't know why he got bigger and bigger while he was... Oh, great. Thanks for giving me 20 rupees when my wallet is full. That's one thing I kind of liked about um, Wallet Princess, is that you get put them back in. Uh, and then they take, took it away afterwards, didn't they? Oh, this is a minigame. I'm already closed for today. Come again tomorrow. Oh, mate. Tell you what we need. What we need is the Song of Night and Day. Which we don't have. But I think, actually, we can get it from Windfall Island. Although, I have a horrible feeling that we can't get it on Millfall Island until after the next quest is over. I'll have to double check. With uh, the Elvis dude on Millfall Island, who is hilarious, by the way. Oh, we can't get it in... We can't get the... Uh, we can't get it because it's permanently night until we find Jabun. I forgot about that. Uh, let's... Uh, let's get this. I'm getting used to the buttons, have you noticed? I'm not making quite so many mistakes. You watch me make a mistake now in the next couple of minutes. Oh, wrong button. I think I may have been just a tad early. Oh no, we got it, we got it. Treasure, treasure hunting. Lovely. This will be, I'm just, th I'm just thinking about it now. This, this is going to be another flipping rupee. I don't know why I even bothered with it. I'm still full. Oh well, noob Mela. Let's go. I don't think there's any reason to uh, stop anymore. We'll just go straight for Windfall Island, and we'll do um, we'll we'll do the quest on there. We'll do the main quest. I love this music. It's um, if you notice, it's the normal um, ocean theme uh, mixed with Ganon's theme. Ganon's like main theme throughout the uh, throughout the game, which I think is genius really sets the tone as well. Right, here we are. Um, let's actually just quickly, if we can, we're going to pick up some more bait just while we've got good old Beetle. Got our Beetle, he's so funny. Bye! Thank you! Oh! Thank you! Do you, think I could get, do you think I should get my hair done like his? I do need a haircut. <laughs> oh, here we go. Cut scene straight out. That's good. Is it, it is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. 
Bella, I think you should try uh, to find out what the pirates are up to. Without them finding out about you, we should sneak. What were you doing? Sneaking. <laughs> Got him. Got him. So this is Windfall Island, guys. One of the main islands in the game. My, my favourite island, actually. It's a shame we can't listen to the awesome music that normally plays on this uh, island. Um, if I remember rightly, we need to go to the tavern and drink some grog with the pirates. And this is the tavern. Uh, we're not going to drink any grog. We don't want them to know we're here. We're going to we're going to earwig on their conversation. Here we go. Eddie, are look. There's. I don't know. No, these are just the normal patrons, aren't they? Oh, hello. Good view. Cheers, tree. Is it true that pirates have invaded our peaceful little island? That's terrible news. What am I supposed to do if they come... Oh, it's a coffee house. Okay, looks like a bar to me. My coffee house and start raising a ruckus. Why would anybody raise a ruckus in a coffee house? On the other hand, if it was a bar, that would make sense. Uh, having said that, I'm going to create a ruckus! <laughs> Just so I can say that I've created a ruckus in a coffee house. Yeah, smash it all up. Have you heard? There are pirates on the island now. Right now. Well, that's what they say anyway. Me, I don't believe it. Well, they should end up in here in a minute. What about this dude? Is he going to talk to me? All right, Mustachio. Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing. Mr. Zendon is all about that. I'm telling you, those pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas. Well, unless you have a cafe on the boat, I suppose. How would that work? I suppose you get cafes you get cafes on ferries, like in in the real world. <laughs> um I actually can't remember where I'm supposed to go first. Um I know that at some point I need to sneak into the um, bomb shop. Shall we try that? And that seems like a good shout, actually. Um, this one's the bomb shop, and the bomb the bomb shop owner is really mean, uh, and will only sell his bombs for really, really expensive prices. I mean, like literally more than you could possibly hold, even in the biggest wallet of the game, if I remember rightly, like ten thousand something. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna we're, we're gonna solid snake it up. We're gonna uh, we're gonna change games to uh, Metal Gear Solid, and we're gonna sneak. And he even does a little cute little thing that when he looks around the corner, and it changes the uh, it changes the camera, so you can see around the corner. Isn't that cool? Right. Um, oh yes. Up. Yeah. I do believe this is the right way. Excellent. You cutscene. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here? Yeah? So, I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the post postman. Huh? Oh, yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that Mala, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So, when I saw that postman, I just pretended like it was all, I, I, was, I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he speed, spills the beans. I actually don't know which one of them is talking right now. Good work, Gonzo. Really, the top, ju just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Mrs. Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate ever to sail the seas. Yep. The greatest. Have you tried Frosties? They're great. 
You idiot, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Ah, uh, he fancies Tetra. <laughs> Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Heh, <laughs> so unimpressed. Quit goofing around, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What, miss? We we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we've been on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, uh, I'm fine. Either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys are so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what do you say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? The treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? <laughs> I love the sideburns. You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry it on to outset, or the same could happen there. Huh? Uh, not to be disrespectful, but the sound of things, you're worried more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want... You know, the treasure. <gasps> She's seen my green hat. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Please. Aye aye, Captain! Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is... Swabbies. Yeah? Remember? Let's put that there. Right. Swabbies. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it. So I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabbies, yeah? <coughs> Swabbies, eh? <laughs> there we go! Can we speak to this loser? We can't attack him, we can't pick him. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to like pick him up and just throw him around, that'd be really funny. Anyway. Off we go, on to the pirate ship. Um, yes, it's this way. Awesome. Well, that was a bonny little uh, video. I liked it. Let's go. Yeah, we can't get the song of day and night because uh, the Elvis dude isn't present. He normally stands here. Onto the ship. There we go. We get to go below decks. Who cleans pirates' ears? Well, how do we spell it? it? Was S W A D B I E S Swabbies. Right, right. You may enter. But then he doesn't wait on the other side. What a strange security system that is. So we've been here before. Last time we were here though, we couldn't enter. This is Zelda's room, if I remember rightly. She's got like necklaces and jewels, perfumes. And this is uh, a picture from the intro, which is uh, kind of a bit of a hint of who she really is. Because uh, why would she have a picture of the Hero of Time, ladies and gentlemen? And there is another rather bonny hint of who she really is. I think you, we all know exactly what that is a picture of. 
and what else has she got? I don't know what that's a picture of. I think that's just another picture from the intro. In fact, yes, it is. Again, with the the, uh, the triangle on it. And who is this? That might be her mum, I would assume. And we're going to jump on her bed just to say that we have... Yay, we jumped on Tetra's bed because we're awesome. Right, let's go below deck. Or further below deck, I should say. There he is, good old Nico. He should talk with an overbite, shouldn't he? Oh, Mela. My old swoppy. Mela. Though you're alive. I didn't put a voice on for him at, uh, last time uh, when he was there. All other pirates said you were got, um, done done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Portress. Well, I thought... Never mind what I thought, you're still alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed miss me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung of the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But, I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't you set, uh, why don't we set you your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time, there aren't any. Which means that you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on the door this, uh, this time as well. This time, this time. Uh, the switch opens the gate, but it will close if you don't get it before the time runs out. Run out of time, you have to try it again, little Swabby. He sounds a little bit like um, the other dude, just with more of an overbite. Boots that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so step on it. If you get all the way to this side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town, yeah? You heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Alright, uh, let's do this. It looks like such a mug, just standing there. Just saying. Alright, this bit is not particularly easy if I remember. I mean, it's not massively hard, but it's kind of tricky yeah, if I remember. I don't remember the quickest and easiest way across here either. Oh, they move, don't they? I forgot. Uh, oh, there we go. We only just made that by the, like, the skin of our teeth. Right, I think, can we make it all the way over here? Not sure. How are we doing, guys? Yep. Hope you're enjoying the stream, man. I certainly am. Hope you're enjoying it. If you're enjoying it half as much as I am, then we're all good, mate. Seriously. Right, can I reach this one? Yep. Ah! No! Right, so we'll start again. This could take a while. Um... Potentially. Or I could just get lucky, I suppose. Alright, let's do this. Oh, pardon. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen if I did that. Shouldn't have done. More haste, less speed. You know? Last you try and be, the shitty you are. And make more mistakes and therefore it takes longer in the in run long run anyway. Right. Let's right, 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 right. right. I think, is that yep, yeah, that's good, that's good. And then can we jump straight to this one? Oh, so close. Yeah, we just about make that one. We need to go if we can get directly onto that other one, that'd be nice. Oh no. I think that's, that's what you're supposed to do actually. You're supposed to get directly onto that one that's above us now. Which makes me in the wrong place now. Damn. Um, mm, I think we're going to have to start again. I don't think there's any way across now that's going to help. Oh! That's, that'll do. Let's hope we don't run out of time now. Right, come on. Come on, come on, Link. Come on! So slow, come on! Yep. Alright, we need to get to the bottom, bottom, bottom. So we've got more. Oh, Z, Z target. I think. Oh, this could be close in terms of the time, I think. 
I'm getting concerned we're gonna run out of time. Don't you dare close that door on me, Nico. I will end you. Right, come on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. One more swing. One more swing. Come on. Oh, we're running out of time. Run. Yes, we made it. We're all good. What? You've got to be... You did it already? You're incredible. Maybe I should make him like radical dude. No, no. <laughs> this isn't good. I've, I've never even passed this test. If you never passed it, how are you standing there? How could you do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be busted. Okay, you're the best scobby of all time. So I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay, okay. <laughs> that sort of look, that longing look back. And now we get one of the most useful items in the game, I feel. You got the bombs! You can carry up to 30. Pull one out, say, to throw it, but you can also use it on the ship. If you use the bombs while on the boat, it gives you a mighty cannon that you can use to fight off sea going enemies. It's really good as well. And off we go. That's mighty courageous of you! Tried to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after be being tossed out of that tower. From the look on uh, your face, I have to guess that you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You can tell that just by the look on my face, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking about how badly things could go for you. Just like now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. It's a bit rude. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure as well. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, where were we? Let's get back. Sorry about that. Right now, Jabun is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door, which is what the bombs are for. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. But we will be leaving for Outset Island first thing in the morning. Which is good because it never turns morning until you meet Jabun, so we get as long as we want. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of the bombs. You better be quick, kid! Wow, awesome! You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Yep. Why does everyone seem so besotted with Tetra? It's a bit creepy. What do you think, guys? Creepy or cute? Let's go, let's go. So we're gonna we're gonna go sailing again. I'm sailing. Oh, oh, right. You guys remember this is actually where we met the, the little boat, or near where we met the little boat as well, just in this little cove. This boat is significantly larger than the little. This is where the cove where you first meet the king of the red lions. Oh, oh! Did I get turned around then? Whoops. But let's go. We'll end that session there. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Mellar21. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter. It's at Mellar211. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.